Being insecure in a relationship for most women always begins with a single doubt. The feeling that the guy they are in love with might still be seeing other women more attractive than they are. This feeling of awkwardness usually ensues when the woman has issues with her self-image. She is not that confident in herself and her physical appearance. Everyone has that one body part they wish they could change. Most women are not comfortable with the shape and size of their breasts, the structure of their buttocks, and so on. To deal away with this feeling and come to terms with whether or not your boyfriend or fiancé loves you as he says, here are eight ways to provoke a man and see if he loves you by how much of you he can tolerate. Be playful and take into consideration cultural differences to get the best of him. 1. Eat his meat. Men love food and hate it when someone tries to shorten their ration. Most men especially African men like to eat their meat last. Eating his meat is a sure way of provoking him. Meat is considered a symbol of love in almost all cultures. Letting your woman eat your meat is a sign of love. 2. Ask for the password to his phone. Even though it is not advisable to look into your partner's phone for obvious reasons, asking for his password is just to see how he reacts. If he gives you his password without thinking about it, it shows that he has nothing to hide. You are his one and only. But don't go through his phone because you can't be hurt by what you don't know. 3 touch his ass. As much as men like to touch women's buttocks, they hate it when their ass is spanked by a woman. Go for that ass and let's see how he reacts. The essence is to see how tolerating he can be with you, touching him in places he hates. The more tolerant he is, the more comfortable he is around you. 4. Sleep on his side of the bed. Men find it provocative when women sleep on their own side of the bed. Some men are intolerant to the extent that they will wake her up to sleep on their own side of the bed. If he rolls over to the other side of the bed and allows you to sleep undisturbed, he is a caring guy and knows when to cut the other person some slack. 5. Touch his head and mess with his hair. Men, irrespective of culture don't like to be touch on their heads. They don't like the idea of things hovering above their heads, talk less of turning their heads into a playground. They are very sensitive and dislike how it makes them feel. If you touch his head and mess around with his hair in a playful way and he is passive about it, it is a sign he likes you. 6. Wear his favorite jacket. Men don't like the idea of letting their women wear their favorite jackets because once they do, that jacket is never coming off. They always try to discourage women with fake promises or offer them money to buy their own. If he can sacrifice his best and most favorite jacket to you, it's a sign he loves you. 7. Wear his underwear. Generally, men don't like women going anywhere besides their underwear especially their pants for obvious reasons. Men with skin allergies hate the idea of sharing their underwear. They may miss the fun in it and react in strange ways. While keeping that in mind, if the guy allows you to touch things that are very close to him, it is a sign he is comfortable around you to the point where he allows you to wear his underwear. 8. Fart around him. Take a big messy fart around him, if you can, and watch his reaction. Depending on his personality, every guy will react differently to this, but the essence of the fart is to throw him off while you watch his reaction, to see to what extent he can tolerate your flaws. There are many ways to provoke a man and read his body language in order to determine how much he loves you. If you are that playful you can try different forms of harmless provocations to see how he reacts. While doing this, you should also keep in mind that there are days people aren't that friendly and won't react the way you expect them to. If you want to watch more content on this topic, type more in the comment section.